administration survives in this campus even till this day. It survives because it stood to the cause of self-respect. The cause of self-respect which Azad led, the cause of self-respect with which Madhavaro sir, who is a retired IAS officer, he is not an ordinary retired IAS officer. He was a chief secretary of the state of Andhra Pradesh, who fought for the cause of Dalits when he was still in office. And even post-retirement, on the very same day, after hearing the news of the institutional murder of Roy Pemela, he came out to this university in the chill midnight hours and came and stood with us throughout the night. And not just throughout the night, it has been eight years. For these eight years of journey, he is still with us. And Jobi sir, Lakshminarayan sir, the SCST faculty forum, concerned teachers, irrespective of caste, what Rohit had said was that the value of a man has been reduced to his immediate identity. They all fought to annihilate that identity. They all fought beyond their identities. Right? There are many faculties who, who stood with us despite having not born to this particular Having certain kind of ideological differences, but what struck them the most was that it is the cause of humanity, humanness that Rohit was speaking in his last letter. Right? When someone speaks to that core, it disturbs the casteist minds of this campus of this country. There are a few who cling to this power. There were a few who have still continued these casteist practices in this campus. Aparam, who is no longer the vice chancellor. When he was still the vice chancellor, the kind of harassment that he did, the, 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 the way in which he pointedly tried to punish the faculty and students was enormous. Now despite that, if Ambedkar Students Association, I am very specifically stating this Ambedkar Students Association. If Ambedkar Students Association chose not to meet the Vice Chancellor till he was there in office, that is a symbol of self-respect. Which is, you bloody might hold the power of the position as a Vice Chancellor of the University. But, we refuse to consider your position of authority. Speaking against the position of authority, was very important, which Ambedkar students that call, right? Just a few, 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 few years before, around 2014, when Aparo was not there uh, in the office, there was another vice chancellor. There was another regime altogether. Yet, the nature of the primary institutions does not change with a thought to seek justice for Madari Venkatesh, to seek justice for Pulyal Raju. To seek justice for Santil, to seek justice for Balraju. All of them have been institutional murder irrespective of the regimes that were persisting on this campus. That were persisting at center or state. And when we were fighting on one at one point in time, when we were fighting to implement OBC reservations, because for us, our MP itself comes from that magnitude of pain, suffering with historical denial. And it is only the affirmative action policies that make, I mean, at least grants us a little entry into this campus. And if these affirmative action policies are, remain unimplemented, then there is a whole generation which is wiped to access the higher education the, of these universities. It is at that point in time, when Ambedkar Students Association fought to implement the OBC reservation, there was a vice chancellor. We were fighting, we had fought, and we made sure that there was a third list of counseling open. At that point in time, he called me into the office and said, Prashant, once you are done with this course, what would be left is the statistics. That what all has got implemented, what all has not got implemented. 
There will be nothing that you would gain. But now today, today we all, as members of Ambedkar Students Association, would like to point it. Any person who who speaks like that, it is these statistics that are important for us. For you, they may be two, three seats, but for us, they are lives of two, three generations. Holding on to these statistics, holding on to these papers, holding on to these records, it is a historic legacy of Ambedkar Student Association. It started with Patteti Rashekar, who is now the Vice Chancellor of uh, Nagarjan University in Andhra Pradesh, which started with Nayapagar Sundar Raju, and which continued over the years. Right? And so, this is what is the importance of organizations that are centered on the principles of self-respect. What those 10 Dalit of scholars had taught us, we still continue to live on those ideals. And wherever we grow, that is because of Ambedkar Students Association, that is because of Ambedkar. If there are any failures that are there with us, they are individual failures. But all of our successes are definitely, belong, they belong to Ambedkar Students they belong to the path laid down by Bhavata Bombaker. They belong to the community. And what Rohit did was today, I mean, I was coming from Bangalore to here today. I, I, when I was having a bird's view of the geography, it is so vast. It is spread, it is spread so vast. Now, they said we may not have heard about Rohit Vimala then, but we definitely have heard about Rohit Vimala. Right? Now when they hear about Rohit Vimala, they hear the words of Rohit Vimala. Mm -hmm. Thus, they wanted all of us to get suppressed. They, they, entire actions of them, they wanted us to, when they, when they went and spoke, met Datatreya, when they went and met, met Smriti Irani, when all of them had written countless letters to the university, when Aparo acted on those letters to perpetrate injustice against all of us, their only intention was that by punishing these people, we can in fact suppress the thoughts that go through and nurture through them, which they cannot do it. Because we are a community who have experienced countless murders and Despite experiencing these countless murders, our community has stood for seeking for justice. They have never compromised. We are Chundur, we are Tar and Chedu. And we still have faculties who still continue to go to villages despite the kind of assault that they have. And we are done almost. I don't think there's any time left. I have already taken a longer time. But I definitely would like to thank. And this, I am in fact, I mean, I feel liberated today in a sense because I chose, I myself took a decision not to speak on this campus. Not to speak on this campus till a certain point in time. Job is a secondary thing, but PhD was a primary thing. Now precisely because the random accusations that are painted against all of those who are involved in self-respect movements, that they're gone, they're, their lives are gone. They just do this politics for the sake of doing them. They have ulterior motives. We have no ulterior motives, but an emancipatory ideal that is nurtures us through these struggles that we had inherited, right? And for us, do, I mean, doing research was not an ordinary thing. I, I, I at least, I had my own failures, I definitely acknowledge. But the support that was there uh, from my supervisor, Professor G. Spidev, was enormous. I don't think anyone could stand uh, two vice chancellors, two consecutive vice chancellors, complaining against her student that you try and control, but never was it chained. Because she knows, she, has, she, she studies against those chaining, those bonded circuits. <laughs> If there was someone else, I would have been thrown out of this university long back. And on the other hand, the second point was that for us, research needs continuous engagement. In 2015, 
when we when i personally had took a decision uh, that i will focus on my research but it was this university administration which had dragged me in in fact rohit was someone who was to lead the organization who had the commitment to lead the organization he was leading the organization in an exceptional and brilliant manner but they had pulled us back in and in front of in front of the loss the physical loss of rohit nothing mattered for us in the next couple of years whether we, whenever we were sent to jail nor when there was a lot in charge nor when there were cases filed nothing mattered to us because that loss is much more greater than all these countless number of cases being sent to jail all these harassments but it did hamper us at a research level but that didn't stop us from finishing what we were supposed to do here and hence i chose to speak on this day on this day where we were working for work in progress from belivada and we continue to work and we, we, we continue to speak where where they wanted to suppress our voices but we do not we we, we, we cannot be suppressed because rohit stands as an inspiration for us ambedkar stands as an inspiration for us all of them stands as an inspiration for us all of those who face cases stand as an inspiration for us all of those who still stand with us stands as an inspiration for, for, for us now with this i would like i definitely would like to thank uh, justice for rohit vembala and specifically ambedkar students association for leading this cause right leading this cause was important in respect of the cause associated with it ambedkar students association had been leading this and one final word which is that if it, it never re remained with an individual this movement never remained with an individual it remained with a committee it remained with organization it remained with organization it continued as and when the leadership changed and if so many people have gathered here today it is because of that continuity in change of leadership and carrying over the legacy that mattered the most i hope as ambedkar said you carry the caravan ahead with the kind of self respect ideals that all of our seniors and all of the members and rohit has given to all of us with this i like to thank uh, for giving this opportunity i like to thank everyone for standing with this cause jai hind